Alright guys, so I know this is a strange video um, for our channel, but I thought I'd talk about it because I know a little bit about it and it'd make a good video. <clears throat> I'm going to be talking about the reasons that you should learn Java as your first programming language. A lot of people have trouble deciding what programming language they should learn first. And really, uh, almost everyone gives a different opinion. I mean, there's, there's tons of opinions out there. Some people say you should learn Ruby on Rails first because it's easy. A lot of people say you should learn... C sharp, C++, but I'm here to basically tell you that you should learn Java. Um, there's an argument for almost every language, but I'm going to give you the argument for Java because I learned Java first, and I don't regret it at all. I'm glad that I learned Java as my first programming language. Um, it's most often the first real programming language that programmers learn, not including you know coding language like uh, HTML and CSS. One thing about Java that you should know is that it's really secure. It's a really secure uh, programming language. It's really simple. It's run on about 3 billion devices worldwide. That number is absolutely huge. Because I mean, if you think about it, there's about 8 billion people on this earth. 3 billion devices worldwide. That's pretty good. And although it's not the most popular language today, it's behind the language of C, it's the most popular one for people that want to learn first. It's a good first choice. Many colleges who give you a computer science education, they're going to teach you Java first with a course titled something like Introduction to Programming in Java. Java works cross platforms and can be used for just about anything. This goes from web apps all the way to Android operating system. Google is a huge supporter of Java. Java is run on a lot of their products and using that language in some way or another throughout a lot of their ventures. Google, uh, they own Android and Androids obviously run on Java. So if you can learn Java, practically you should be able to program um, Android applications. So that's pretty cool. It's a practical language, so you can just be learning about the theoretical aspects of it. It's simple enough to where you can actually create something out of it. That's pretty cool because a lot of people stop and say, well, I want to create something now. Well, a lot of languages you really can't unless you're a master at it. Java, you just have to be interme intermediate to be able to create something. It's been taught for decades. It's here to stick around. I learned Java as my first programming language not long ago, probably a couple months ago. And I would not trade the education that I got for the world. I was self-taught. I didn't learn it anywhere. I'm not in college yet. But I'm about an intermediate level at it now. And uh, you can do the same if you put your mind to it. You can self-teach. And maybe I'll release a video explaining how I learned it. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I'm going to give more information out like this pretty soon. Thank you.